Well, our new car is here. Um, brand spanking new. Uh, 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ Premium with a tech pack. Yeah, so some of you will be like wondering why it's 2022. Now, the only thing I can think of would be the conversion. So to convert these, it must take a, a fair bit. few months for it to come yeah. through like a long time fair like six to 12 months i don't yeah. really know why but anyway it's compliance to december 2022 maybe maybe it sits at the at the docks for ages don't really know why but anyway it's it's here as you know henry and naoka went to sydney and picked it up um sorry it's unregistered we are gonna fit a uh, new suspension and do a gvm upgrade prior to registration so it's nationally recognized but um that's a little while away so for the moment well, it's yeah we'll quickly um, touch on why you do that so if we were to register this car and do a gvm upgrade it would be only state compliant but you can still drive it all around australia that's fine yeah. But it would mean it would had a modification done after Rego. It wasn't mm -hmm. basically a factory mod, so that's why we're doing it. Yeah. yeah and so that when we go to sell it, we don't. The person who buys it from us in the future won't have to have engineer certificates done. It's just compliant from the yeah, second you sell and it. And so it'll suit anyone from any state. Yeah, which um, is great. Which is the yeah. main reason. Like, yeah, we need a car right now, but um, we'd rather wait. For that this compliance to come through so Sorry, I'm that just watching is Louis. i don't know that'd be yeah that's basically two to three weeks away that's going to get done so that's going to go down to warrigal so that's four and a half hours from here um to get this gvm done so we've decided to go with the 4.2 ton gvm upgrade but we also retain the four and a half ton towing and 450 kilo but wait, um, if we and were to do- And eight, seven GCM. Yeah, and if we were to do it after Rego, I'm pretty sure the the towing actually comes down to 4.2. Not ideal, like I don't really, yeah, that's that's sort of annoying. Um, it's better just to get it done now and, and just wait. Short-term pain for long-term gain. Yeah. I'm just sorry, I'm just watching Louis because he's digging everywhere in the dirt and there's a river behind us. So just making sure he's not um, ducking off and he's just up to mischief. But um, yeah, this is it. Uh, we'll give you a look of our brand spanking new car. What do you think? Who wants to do it? Louie wants to drive? Yeah. Okay. 
sell them. It smells good. It smells like a brand spanking new car. This is our family's first ever brand new car. Now... No, I've had a brand new car. You haven't. Is that right? Yes. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway. I've always either got demos or second hands. Um, demos like maybe 6,000, 8,000 Ks or something yeah. like that, 5,000 Ks. But this is, oh, well, obviously my first brand new car. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll touch on, yeah, we paid full price for this. We didn't, we don't get discounts on anything. Yeah. We, um, everything to do with this build will be all retail prices. We don't yeah. go out of our way and ask for discounts. If someone um, wants to offer us one, sure, why not? Yeah, 100% but... every cent that That's... is going into this car and that we have spent to purchase this car is ours. And um, yeah, we don't ask people for free things. We And if we... Um, like a product and we go with that company again even if they offered us a discount or something um for free we don't accept it we love to support our local businesses and uh, we understand that yeah like yeah we'll try and source local products as much as possible like this is going to have a fair amount of money spent on it at iron man the gvm upgrade stuff the only real reason we're going with Warrigal is um, some family, some friends we travel with um, know the person that owns that company and um, Scalzo's Automotive. Um, no discounts there either. Everyone pays the same money for this GVM upgrade yeah. Australia-wide. It's the exact mm -hmm. same dollar tree value so that no one's undercutting anyone. Yeah, but back to obviously... Iron Man, we don't have any partnerships or nah. anything with sponsorships or anything with those guys. We just actually love their products. We had a lot of Iron Man products on the Cruiser. Even the Amrock um, as well before and that. And the Amrock before that. And Iron Man has never, ever let us down. Um, yeah. Any of the products we've had, the products are absolutely spot on for what we need. So obviously we're going to go with them. Yeah. We'll just stick with what we know and what we feel comfortable yeah. with. And yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we've now got a, a, a bit of a relationship with the crew down there at Iron Man. So I'm going to hopefully get down there and do some of the videoing on the build stage that they're going to do. Um, there's a few questionable things that I'm, I am packing myself about the bull bar slash slim bar that we've gone with. I, I just, I honestly don't know how it's going to mm. look. I don't know how it's going to work. But Whether every, I'm going to like it or not, I don't, yeah. I don't know. But and, I've got to start somewhere. And obviously, this whole American trucks slash big ute thing is foreign to us. Like, we've never had one of these no, type vehicles we're, before. In saying that, we're pretty lucky, I think, that there's enough of them out now and there's enough of the products out now that it's okay to start moving into this this i suppose sort of car yeah imagine doing this three years ago we would have there'd be no, no information of any sorts at all to try and pick and ideas and figure out where we're going to go with this yeah build. and we've joined like lots of groups to gather information um and also i guess that's why we went brand new because we also wanted warranty behind us because we had a 200 series Land Cruiser, we didn't really need warranty because... We just, we know they're reliable. Yeah, um, and they're easy to fix, whereas these, it's kind of a bit foreign to us, so we're like, no, nah, we want warranty no matter what with these because they're a bit new. We did try and get extended warranty. Um, ex I wanted to get extended up to five years, so you have your three years, and then the extended kicks in for a further five, and it was like nearly $10,000. It's like, ah, oh, it's really... 10 grand's a lot of money. Yeah, it'd be better. That's just half an engine anyway. So. Yeah, you just put, literally you could put that money to the side yeah. in case something happened to your engine. Yeah. Um, after that time period. But um, yeah, we're pretty excited. Yeah. Like, like, something so new. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just to touch on the excitement sides, it's been a very a mixed emotional roller coaster for the both of us. And um, purchasing this car has has had its highs and lows. Mm. Um, 
And I think just... And it's re- just the big unknown. Rewinding back to, I guess, our accident uh, with the Land Cruiser, we're still pretty, like, down in the dumps and a little bit... The kids are still a little bit traumatised from it and stuff. So it's, um, it's actually taken a while to kind of recover from it, to be honest, like mentally. Um, it's, yeah. it's out of all of that whole thing... We are way out of pocket on all of it. Like, yeah, we had it insured right, but we've mm-hmm. had to fork out a huge amount of money and it's eaten into our travel budget again. So, Although we didn't have to. to no, we didn't have to. These um, are our choices yeah. and we have to own that, which yeah. is fine. But this is where we're at. This is what we want to do. And, um, we're not enforcing anyone in any way, shape or form to follow our, our ideas and what we want to do, but yeah, we just want I something that's be... nice and big for our family. Like it is huge. But... Yeah. And I think us not having any, I guess, biased opinions on this vehicle because we've got no ties to anyone or anything to do with our vehicles or our any of our gear so you'll be actually getting real i guess feedback and um advice on what we do and don't like and what we think this car can and can't do like we're gonna be absolutely honest and not be like yeah this is the greatest car in the world because we're having to promote this vehicle when we're, it's which, our which it's not. our vehicle yeah. so we'll be telling it's you gotta do truth. everything we're doing and probably more so, um, mm. is it up to the chase with the 200? I, I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, mm. this thing just, just driving home was just, it's an insane vehicle. It's got a lot of upgraded technology to what we did have in the, we had a 2017, um, GXL Land Cruiser 200 series. We put basically a hundred thousand Ks on on our last trip and it didn't fault us. It didn't fail. Didn't it let was, us down. We were absolutely shattered. Yeah. Um, it, it, we we've, we've Henry absolutely yeah. loved that car. It was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears <sighs> went into that because we pretty much, you know, put everything on it that was absolutely perfect for us. Um, yeah, we just thought we were upgrading our van, and now we're upgrading the car. It's yeah. like it's it has. For anyone that's watching this, I, I, I kind of understand that you might not get it, but it, yeah. this isn't a thing that we're so, doing that's felt great. Yeah, so yet. whilst we've been home in Victoria building a new caravan, received our new caravan, we literally took it away for our first trip to go stay with our friends that we met um, um, up in the Gib and the Kimberleys last year. Uh, Dan Alicia's, we went and stayed with them for a weekend and we decided to do a bit of full driving and um, snow driving. It was a freak cold weekend and happened yeah, to was, be snow dropping. Yeah, we were just wanted to see Louis. And so we're like, oh, let's, let's head up the mountain and anyway. take Louis to the snow. And obviously we had the accident. So, um, yeah, as we told you guys, we're back in Vic and Henry been, had been working because we wanted to build the bank account back up after buying the new van. Yeah, re- like this is realistic um, travelling for us and, and, and for us to, to be able to do what we want to do is we have to do stints of working and that's just yeah. part and parcel. We don't we don't have other resources or incomes coming in. We and don't have revenue income coming in. No, and we do get a little bit of money from YouTube, but that it. might be like two fuel tanks a month. It's literally next to nothing. Uh, Which is fine by us. And it's, it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah and so. we don't ask for sponsorships or collaborations or anything with any brands or anything because we don't want to be tied to things and we actually um don't kind of want to be a slave to social media and stuff but that's obviously our opinion um and how we want to live and travel we're literally documenting our family travels and our kids growing up so we want to basically just be like everyone yeah every other traveler that wants to do something and see australia or the world it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing we just want to be i suppose be a part of the normal lane i don't we don't really want to 
We want it to be a holiday. Like yeah. we want to. It's realistic traveling, basically. Yes, we don't want to do. sell ourselves sell ourselves for products. I would rather literally buy the products ourselves if we genuinely believe that we want or need those products, and then we would stop and work if we have to to uh, pay for what we want purely because we which when is, we do travel with the kids we don't want to be stuck yeah which, creating content uh, on instagram on facebook all of that yeah it's great um it's great to socialize with other traveling families and all of that that's what it's great for um we just don't want to yeah be we, we sort of to it. Uh, yeah it's it's it, and i think just pulling up in general is like a reality check too of like hey <laughs> we're all we're all equal we're all normal people and you gotta you gotta do the hard stuff to enjoy the freedoms of life too like unfortunately we all yeah. have to go to work and have, get some money to go do these wonderful things so yeah. we're so, real people mm. just like everyone else so after the accident happened with the car uh we had to obviously get the van towed back to Swan Hill where we were staying and there's another massive financial outlay um and weeks and weeks of waiting for insurance and an answer as to whether they're going to repair the car or not we finally obviously got the answer that they had wrote it off it was five weeks yes yeah, so then we made the decision let's get this car that we've got we, uh, but we we had been we sort of went through every, we had a plan A, plan B, C, D. I think there was even an E plan yeah. of how, what would happen. All right, if they, they're going to fix the car, that's fine. If they're not going to fix the car, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? What sort of car are we going to get? It's, yeah, it's all these, yeah, we, were, we were bashing our brains at each this, other and, and like worrying about something. Yeah, that, and we actually were, we convinced ourselves a lot that we're just going to rebuild another 200 and it was it was a bit like well that one was perfect and how do we do it all we, again yeah. and we obviously would have been a lot out of pocket rebuilding it the way we done it so we're like well, i would have built it exactly the same way yeah and but going down this path obviously this is even more expensive uh, but it's something different something we can actually tow a four and a half ton van so we can actually take our van from four ton up to four and a half now so more comfort it, it, in it's the... already compliance at four and a half we were just keeping under the four ton because our cruiser could only tow four ton yeah so um, now we have an extra 500 kilos that has magically just appeared so yeah i don't know what we'll need to do with no, it we, but... i reckon we might use maybe so we're already that trip we went down to Warriga, we were at um, 3.9 ton. Um, we had maybe 50 kilos of extra clothing that we didn't wouldn't really normally travel with, and a few other little bits and pieces. Yeah. So we're well under. But there's always that grey area you just don't know. Like what happens yeah. if we crashed the car and the van and wrote the whole lot off, and then oh your van's compliant to four and a half ton, but you're towing it at four ton. What what? what's that about and it's if it goes like, to you know and if if it got to the nitty-gritty and they denied all the insurance claims <laughs> it's more it's like just thought. getting rid of any gray area that's, that yeah that's if they think that we were towing our van at four and a half ton but we're actually under four because our loop cruiser was compliant to that it just gets rid of that and we don't have to stress about being covered for our van just in case something happens to that going with this car and it is quite expensive uh henry will like will be working while we're parked up for a little bit um a few weeks to build the car so or we're not technically going to do a huge build but just to fit it out uh, we will be, yeah, Henry will be trying to recoup some money back into the bank account for the difference of the oh, car boy. now, um, which we just kind of got back everything from the change of van. So it's kind of hit us a little bit more for six, but yeah, we'll yeah, get there. Yeah, on, on, on the financial side to things, like it's, it's a substantial extra amount of money on the car. Like, yeah. That's, we're not talking 10, 20 or 30 grand, we're talking... 
a lot more than that. And that's eaten into the travel budget. So I, I don't know how long we'll be here for, um, but mm -hmm. I don't really know where we're going after this. We do have plans in the future. We are going to continue to do some traveling. Uh, we're just going to have to scale. We're probably going to scale back some of the traveling a little bit, which is mm -hmm. fine. But but in saying that, the other big reason we were traveling was to try and find a, a new home to live, and we haven't found that yet. So so that is our like pretty much the, the moment reason, one of the reasons one of two. The moment we leave, it's probably goal number one uh, is to find that place so we can watch the real estate in that area. Uh, while we're still traveling, doing other things, and connecting some lines on our map. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to be like those normal travellers that you travel, you stop, you work. You travel, you stop, you work. Um, and that's reality. Like, that is the normal. Yeah. So, yeah. It's been, um, it's been, I suppose, an interesting couple of months for us being at home, um, it's been good catching up with friends and family and that, and we've got people coming out to the van all the time, wanting to yeah. have a few drinks because they feel like they're outdoors themselves as opposed to being at home or going to the pub. Yeah. It's pretty funny, but we do miss it. Um, the kids and us as a family, how we connect, I suppose, on the road is deeply missed, I suppose. Um, I know I'm striving to yeah. get back to the, a little bit of what I feel like is our more normal life is traveling. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're, it's only on, uh, it's only upwards and onwards from here and we're excited to see what this car can do and fit it out to what's going to suit us as a family. Uh, yeah. That's pretty, pretty much, yeah, pretty much it. But the kids are pretty happy. Like, they're obviously going to have to um, get bums in seats to make their seats a little bit nicer and comfortable uh, for themselves. It's nice because it's got lots of leather and it smells nice. And the kids are going to have so much leg room and it's got heated seats and lots of exciting things. You could literally just tour Australia in this stock. Yeah, we, it's, yeah. Yep. It's beautiful. Uh, but... Yeah, we're going to do a few things just to adjust it to our type of travelling, but... Which um, is remote as we can get. Yeah, but... Don't worry, I'm going to test this thing. Yeah. It's going to have pinstripes on it. I'm not going to like it, but... You don't go and buy something like this to not at least push it to its limits, I suppose. Yeah, maybe... Um, Stay tuned because we'll let you know if you should buy a Chevy or not. <laughs> oh, I never had to actually turn spanners on the cruiser. I might have to start doing it to this thing. We'll have to, we'll just have to. Can we not jinx ourselves? Wait and see. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we might leave leave it here and. Um, and I guess can we just chuck in there a reminder for you guys to make sure when you are traveling or even if you're not. Keep your insurance policies up to date and paid for because they are so important to yeah. keep your assets where they should be. Yeah, I was, um, I remember driving down and I was like, oh my God, I need internet because I, I, I just wanted to check the policy and what, Make where sure it was Make sure we at. paid it, yeah. And I was like, oh yes, all right, the payments, the payment was still, was made like uh, seven or eight months ago. It's fine. We're covered. And then it's like, oh, okay, next question, like, what, what's it worth? And it was like, oh, thank God, it's it's what I put it down, what the actual vehicle cost us to, to build it to its point. So yeah, we were we would we basically could have bought another cruiser and we could have decked out exactly the same and broke even. So yeah, um, but we just I guess took an advantage of trying something new because we love to challenge ourselves so much. <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, this is what we've got now, yeah, so we're much. excited. It's not and, um, too dark in here. Yeah, Let's it might be. No, maybe I'll just have It's getting dark. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of lot of cool features. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll 
basically uh, yeah, wrap we this up. We better get and... out of this car because it's getting dark and you won't be able to see us. No, hopefully we can use all that stuff. But anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, stay tuned to see what we do next. I don't really know. So we've ordered basically... A lot of things. Nearly everything's yeah. ordered. It's We're just in the waiting game now of... Um, the GVMs probably is the biggest one because we just want to get it registered so we can actually drive it to the next few bits and pieces. But it might work out that a lot of these bits and pieces actually get done before it goes down there. So the car might look a bit strange in every little bit. Either, I don't even know what order this is going to happen. It might look a bit um, patchy because... But one thing yeah. is for sure, um, the rims and tyres are definitely going to be first because they ha they are a part of the compliance for the GVM upgrade. You have to have their load rated tyres and the load rated rims to be able to, to, to get the engineer to sign off on it. Basically. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's just, yep, sorting those little logistical things to get it to where we want to be. But we'll bring you guys along for the ride and show you everything we do. Yeah, I'm... Um, yeah, I'm going to um, basically do a couple of things around um, in the car myself. I'm not going to, definitely not going to be able to do the stuff I'm, like where I'm working at the moment. It's just crazy busy and I would actually just rather just pay locals to, to just fit out some of these things for me on my yeah, behalf. Yeah, he doesn't. With the cruiser, Henry had a few months off work leading up to before our trip, so... He had all the time to build the cruiser and put everything on it, but this one we're just going to probably pay people to do it. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, yeah, I just don't have as much free time as I did once upon a time. And okay, it's getting dark. Anyway, we'll leave it here, and yeah, here's the here's another picture of the car, I suppose, but it's not going to look anything like it does now. Yeah. Everyone down for the mission, is everyone down for the mission? We had a dream and we'll get it, we had a dream and we'll get it Can't change up, my team too real so we stay young Yeah, this is our year, can't change up My team too real so we stay young Yeah, this is our year, yeah Is everyone down for the mission? Everyone down for the mission Is everyone down for the mission? We had a dream and we'll get it We had a dream and we'll get it, can't change up